Hey, Betty Fish. 14th of May, 2018. And, man, I saw this. I read a couple things, and I just had, like, this full-on rush into my spirit about about this whole day. So, I gotta try and, like, explain to you what I what I saw, essentially, you know, kind of quick here, unfortunately. But, you know, again, I see this here, the, the Trump and Cyrus and Clash on Temple Mount, and all this just comes into my mind, okay? Just real quick. State of Israel is celebrating 70 years of independence today, right? 70 years ago, right here in Tel Aviv at Independence Hall, just before midnight even, they signed the papers and proclaimed their independence and became a state, right? The thing that people don't, I, I just don't think people understand fully what had to happen for this all to come to be. And the wars and the death and the destruction and the deceit and the lies and the torture and the pain and suffering that had to happen for this state of Israel to be formed, namely World Wars One and Two, the two most destructive wars in human history. Those two wars, people, I hate to tell you, were fully and utterly contrived and created by the elite bankers, namely a family known as the Rothschilds were behind all of it. You see this major thoroughfare here, right in, right in front of the Independence Hall complex here? The Rothschild Boulevard? Well, if you don't know the history of the first two world wars, it would help you to look into it because, you know, as I say, God allows everything that happens to happen. But it is for His end, and it has to happen. These dark powers and principalities, these synagogue of Satan, because that's who they are. They're the Jews who say they're Jews, but are not. They do lie. And they lie so, so subtly and so cleverly and have no empathy, no sympathy. They will tell anything to anyone and do not care how many die or suffer to get what they want and they are manipulating and co-opting God's prophecy because we are seeing prophecy unfold but these dark powers are so behind everything we see you need to be aware of deception that is the bottom line of this video let no man deceive you okay because we are going to begin to see here some incredibly crazy things and it's going to be just jam-packed with nothing but lies to steer you emotionally okay you need to understand that this is how they operate and they will do anything anything there are crazy things coming upon this earth very very soon okay let no man deceive you that's the message that I'm given to give Take everything, everything to the Word of God. Praying always, okay? Because we are in the season, folks. You need to be right with God. You need to be cleaving to Jesus Christ, okay? Deceit, deceit, deceit. Let no man take your crown. Let no, it's all throughout the Bible, okay? was the first thing that Jesus said when they asked, when will we know these days? How, what, what signs? The very first words out of his mouth. Let no man deceive you. So, that's my message. Like, just remain in prayer always, okay? Y'all have a great day, okay? Peace and grace to you. Keep looking up. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 